Yo, what's up, VC? John here from JB's Vinyl and Cassettes. Today, I wanna show you four albums that I have used in the past when I have put together a new sound system. So you've all been there, you get new wiring, you get new speakers, you get a new stylus, you get a new something, turntable, whatever, and it's like, oh, I gotta try this puppy out, what do I listen to? I've listened to probably a hundred different albums in that scenario. So I am not giving you the four that you have to listen to, but these are four that I have used before and I will go to again, just for various reasons which we will discuss here in a few minutes. So let's do this. about my contest that's going till February 6th for these two puppies sitting over here. All right, so when we get a new system, let's say I buy a new car. I buy a new car not because it looks good or because it smells good, and I don't buy it because it takes me places, and I certainly don't buy it because it's safe. I buy it because the stereo sounds good, baby. And when I do that, I have to test it out with certain music. There's songs I go to, but music is mood. So I don't have four songs that I always test things out to because I may not be in the mood for any of those four songs when it comes time to test out my new system. And when it comes to a home system and a turntable and a new stylus and all that kind of stuff, again, I have so much to choose from, it depends what I'm in the mood for. But these four are four that I've used before. These four are four that I've used before. That way, I probably could have used better word choice. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd show them with you, show them to you. First one is right here. It is the White Stripes Elephant Complete Recordings. Um, Jack White and everything he does, you pretty much could listen to anything. Uh, but there's something about this album. It's a beautiful pressing, by the way. This gatefold. And you can see on the back what's going on there. But, you know, Jack White and Meg are very simple. You got Jack on guitar and piano. And then you've got Meg on drums and pretty much the most simple drums ever put to wax. Just boom, boom, tss, boom, boom, tss for everything. But when it comes together with Jack's, love that label. When it comes together with Jack's fantastic guitar and voice, it just sounds amazing. And there's not so much cluttering up what you're trying to hear. So if you put this on into a nice system and you really intently listen to songs like my favorite Ball and Biscuit, his guitar leads are so dirty, distorted, gross, and disgusting. I love them. It is amazing. You've got Seven Nation Army. You've got No Home For You Here. You've got I Just Don't Know What To Do With Myself. Uh, man, so much. The hardest button to button. That song sounds so good. So anyway, you want to test out something? Get yourself a copy of the White Stripes Elephant album and check it out. Next. Next up is an album I have shown before. Um, didn't really discuss it much and I'm not gonna get too in depth on it now either, but it's a great I love jazz if you've watched my videos before you know I dig jazz and The first guy that got me into it was Sonny Rollins So here's Sonny Rollins way out west and the reason I picked way out west is because again for its simplicity so I could go out there and I could put Slipknot on and have them with their nine members beating coffins and beer kegs going and say, how does my system sound? But it gets a little bit conchumbled. This was the first Sonny Rollins album that he ever did where he only had three members and what he did was he cut out the piano. He didn't want to have that rhythm and melody section carrying it on. He wanted the freedom with his sax to go willy nilly and that's what he did. So literally you have bass, drum, and Sonny on sax. So in its simplicity, you can sit back and listen to it and it can really let you know if your sound system, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful album. So it will let you know if your sound system is a, is a goodie or a baddie. So there you go. Next. For the next album, I am going to one of my favorite bands of all time, Pink Floyd. And I'm going with what seems to be my favorite album right now, but it, it really does fluctuate. Again, music is mood. Um, but this album for the last few years has kind of been my go-to. It's pretty short, five songs long. Two of the songs are under two minutes each. But it is such a great album. That is Pink Floyd's Animals. 
1977. This came out. I've never seen it up close, and I actually had to get that pig flying up there on that day, and there's all kinds of stories about what went on that day and how that was. So here's some cool pictures. I've always loved this album artwork. But anyway, animals. It's Pink Floyd, so Pink Floyd is a good way to test any sound system because they have so many layers and they, they, they did so much when it came to trying out new things and slide guitars and rewinding and playing in backwards and whatever. And then they always layered in voices and laughing and all these type of audio gimmicks that when you listen in a good system and you can hear all of that and it's coming out where it should be coming out from, they're really good. The reason I picked Animals and not Dark Side of the Moon on this run, which I have listened to, it would be on my list also, is mostly for the song Dogs. Dogs is one of my favorite Pink Floyd songs, one of my favorite songs of all time. And Dogs, at about 5 minutes and 20 seconds or so, has this moment where Nick Mason comes in with the drums, everything's gotten really quiet, and then you hear, Bada! and then David Gilmore hits this, and he goes off into this beautiful, beautiful solo. Oh my gosh. Sexy, check. Beautiful, check. Uh, heavenly, check. Like just whatever you want to say, any adjective you want to say, check, 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 check. It is phenomenal. So the whole album is great. But for me, if I put on a good system and I can listen to and, uh, Dogs, which is a great song, start to finish. It's a long one, but it's a good one. And when that moment hits, and if I can get the goosebumps, which I do every single time, I know I'm listening on a good system. So Animals by Pink Floyd. Next. Last but not least is actually a 12-inch single. Um, can't get through here and only listen to people playing guitars and saxophones and stuff. So I went with something that's a little bit more hippie, 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 hip-hoppy. And we're doing the Humpty Dance by the Digital Underground. This is a 12-inch single original copy. Um, of this, I'm hoping that the glare isn't too bad, but love this song. If you guys don't know, it's a kind of tongue-in-cheek rap, but it was super popular in the 90s. This guy's name was Humpty. He, he talked like this here. All right, just stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you used to. I look funny, but you're all making money, see? So your world, hope you're ready for me. That's how he rapped with his big fake nose and glasses and everything. Um, and he was one of many rappers. This is the band that got Tupac famous. Tupac uh, was a background dancer and did a couple of little verses that were actually pretty good on songs like Same Song. Um, and they launched Tupac into stardom. But the Humpty Dance is just such a great, the beat is and it's like this really cool, grungy, deep driving bass. Um, so again, if I want to see if my system sounds good, I'll ask the Digital Underground to help me out sometimes because these guys know how to make me want to shake my booty. You know what I mean? So, those are four songs, albums, that I would definitely suggest you try out on the system that you have right now because they all are going to sound good. But also, when you get something new, maybe you think about leaning towards one of these four. Until I see you next time, I do hope that you are blessed. Peace! Peace!